Hey guys, I just wanted to show you some of the problems I had with the chipper. Um, just for a frame of reference, we bought it about a year ago exactly. Um, it's February 2014 right now. We got it and I think we picked it up in February of 2013. Um, it currently has 95 hours on it and that's about it. Um, so for all intensive purposes, it's sort of brand new still. Um, this bearing right here was the piece that ended up wearing out on us before it was scheduled for its first greasing. Um, so it, you can see the difference in color. This is like a darker blue and the rest of the machine is that sky blue color. When they put the new bearing back on, it wasn't quite the same as the old original bearing. You can see the silver gap between the shaft, uh, this kind of wider part of the shaft here, and the original bearing. It wasn't like that on the original uh, on the original bearing. So um, if we zoom out here in the process of repairing, um, you know, they had to take the chute off and they had a forklift in here and all that. This bracket down here that holds the pin that keeps the chipper chute in the right position, they bent that bracket and now this thing just pops out um, on its own. So as a result of that, as a chipper is running, sometimes a chipper will just randomly point at a different angle. So we have to have this piece of rope tied onto the chute to hold it more or less in position. For a brand new machine, we shouldn't have to have rope holding it together. Let's come around to the other side. Um, this is unrelated, but sort of related. This gas cap, the fuel cap has always leaked. Um, we called the dealer and they sent us a new one free of charge, but that one also leaked. So our fuel tank always looks like this. Um, then finally, and this is probably the most annoying part, to open this cover, I'm sure most of you guys know this already, we would pull this little pin right here, take the big pin out, grab this handle and pull it. But in the process of repairing the bearing, this cover got bent, misaligned somehow. So I'm going to show you what we have to do in order to take this pin or this cover off. All right, so first we open the safety. Pull the little pin, that's no problem. Normally, all right, that wasn't that big of a deal. So now, okay, no big deal, open it, we do whatever we need to do. There happens to be some uh, palm fronds jammed in here right now, so I should get in here and clean this out. Once we're done, all you gotta do is put this back down. So if you come in really close, you can see that this, uh, I don't know, bracket, whatever you wanna call it, is hitting the shaft that the pin goes into um, and you can look at you can see that gap between this side and that side so we have to pull it over but this isn't something that you can just do with regular human strength so if you kind of jam it down and pull back on it that sort of works and then getting the pin back in will never never happen because this cover doesn't go down even even if I stand on it it won't go down far enough to allow me to put the pin in so what I have to do is get the pin sort of in and if you see all those marks right here So that's what we have to do every time we need to open and close this thing. Again, it's not that big of a deal, but this should be a quick open and shut process. And, and now here we are, you know, using a hefty mallet to get it done. So anyways, that about sums it up. Um, the chipper works. I'm really happy with it. It's easy for us to maintain. Um, and uh, I just wish that it was perfect. We paid a lot of money. We bought it brand new. and. and uh, it should be better than it is.